Hello, in this session I am going to solve a one problem on steam properties using steam tables. Okay, find the specific volume and enthalpy of 1 kg of steam at 0.8 MPa in the first case when the dryness fraction is 0.9, second case when the steam is superheated to a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The specific heat of superheated steam is given as 2.25 kJ per kg Kelvin. Firstly, we will write the what are the given data are there. The mass is given m is equal to 1 kg. The pressure is given p is equal to 0.8 MPa that can be written as 0.8 into 10 raise to 6 Pascal. That again rewrite that one 8 into 10 raise to pi Pascal that can be written as a 8 bar because here the 1 into 10 raise to pi Pascal is equal to 1 bar. This can be written as a 8 bar. Here we have to uh, convert the pressure into bar because the, in the steam tables, in the steam tables, the pressure based steam table to find the properties, we need the pressure in terms of the bar only. Okay, in the for the first case, the dryness fraction is given, x is equal to 0.9. For the second case, superheated temperature to ship is equal to 300 degrees Celsius is given. The specific heat of superheated steam CPS is given, that is equal to 0.25 kJ per kg Kelvin. What to find in this numerical? That is a specific volume of wet steam and superheated steam. Enthalpy of wet steam and superheated steam we have to determine. To have the solution for this problem, first we have to find the properties of steam such as specific volume, enthalpy and saturation temperature at 8 bar pressure using steam table. Here we have the screenshot of the steam table that is the saturated water at and steam pressure tables that one. That means uh, for the different pressures, uh, the properties of steam are given. And the steam table may be for the temperature, temperature based it may be there. And here the pressure whatever is there, that is uh, increasing from 5.2 bar okay, to the up to 12.5 bar pressure. And here we are having the 8 bar pressure. 8 bar pressure for the 8 bar pressure, we are having this is a T, that T is the saturation temperature, 170.4 degree Celsius saturation temperature. This Vg is the specific volume of the saturated steam. This is specific volume of the saturated steam. Okay, 0 0.24026 is the specific volume of the saturated steam. And this Hf is the sensible heat. That sensible heat is the 725.9 degrees uh, kilojoule per kg. And Hfg is the a latent heat and that latent heat given as a 2046.5 kilojoule per kg and these are written here the in terms of the given that is properties which are determined from, or taken from the steam table that is a Vg the specific volume of the saturated steam 0 0.24026 meter cube per kg sensible heat 720.9 uh, kilojoule per kg and uh, latent heat 2046.5 kJ per kg and saturation temperature for that pressure is 8 bar pressure is 170.4 degree Celsius. Then here first we will take the first case when the dryness fraction is 0.9 then the specific volume of wet steam is given by specific volume of wet steam is equal to V is equal to X into Vg. Okay, X dryness fraction is given 0.9 and Vg we have taken from the steam table a uh, specific volume of the saturated steam that is equal to 0 0.24026 and this calc after the calculation we have the 0.216234 meter cube per kg. Then enthalpy of wet steam. Enthalpy of wet steam is given by H is equal to Hf that is a sensible heat plus of latent heat Multi, uh, that is a uh, dryness fraction multiplied with the latent heat. So dryness fraction multiplied with the latent heat. That one. This is the enthalpy of the wet steam. We know that one uh, sensible heat is 720.9 plus of dryness fraction is 0.9 and latent heat is 2046.5. After the calculation, we have this value. There is a 2.62.7 pi kilojoule per kg. For the second case, when the steam is at superheat temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, then the specific volume of superheated steam is given by the relation 
there is a one relation for this specific heat of the uh, specific volume of the superheated steam that is uh, T sup by V sup is equal to T S by V G. Here T sup is the superheat temperature, V sup is the specific volume of superheated uh, steam and T S is the saturation temperature, V G is the uh, specific volume of saturated uh, steam. Therefore, this we can write here the V sup we have to find. For this we have to simplify this equation. Therefore, V sup is equal to T sup multiplied with a Vg by this Ts, okay, saturation temperature. We know the superheated temperature 300 degrees Celsius and specific volume of the saturated temp uh, steam is given by 0 0.24026, already we are having this one, okay, then the saturation temperature 170.4 this is dividing that one we are going to get the after the calculation as a specific volume of the superheated steam is the 0.423 meter cube per kg then enthalpy of superheated steam is given by h sup is equal to sensible heat plus of latent heat plus of cps multiplied with the temperature difference between the superheated temperature and the saturation temperature above this whatever the saturation temperature what amount of heat is added that we are going to calculate here and this or we can give this one hg whatever is the that is the enthalpy of the saturated steam enthalpy of the saturated steam whatever the amount of heat added for the saturation uh, saturated steam plus of heat added above the whatever this uh, saturation temperature up to the superheated temperature then this enthalpy we can add directly we are having the, the sensible heat and latent heat those we can add uh, for the simplification 720.9 plus of 2046.5 plus of 2.25 multiplied with the temperature difference this will have the h sup is equal to 3059 kilojoule per kg here we are having the whatever this uh, sensible heat is there this is the amount of heat added up to the 0 degree celsius to the saturation temperature and latent heat is the amount of heat added for the conversion of 1 kg of the uh, water into a 1 kg of the saturated steam okay that by that one the amount of heat whatever required for the wet steam as well as the superheated steam we can determine by, by using these relationships okay uh, i will stop here thank you and uh, for further such uh, numericals you uh, watch my next videos thank you